the tallest mountain in Australia. It's been a long drive here from Sydney to Threadbow Snowy Mountain and the sun's just up, it's really nice. It's been chilly here this entire time. And yeah, it's been a long, long drive. I actually took a break. We stopped by Canberra to hang out for a day because it's almost impossible for me to drive from Sydney to Snowy Mountain. And yeah, I'm gonna go trekking there tomorrow. As you can see. Yeah, that's the first thing that I'm gonna do tomorrow and then maybe snap some pictures. My purpose here is to get some amazing pictures and capture some videos and especially after the snowy season or after the winter season whereby there's, it's not too cold and it's not too warm. It's nice to take some b-roll footage with me. It's nice to take some video and maybe enhance my videography project a little bit. I'm just gonna hang out here and enjoy the sun and cold at the same time because the sun is shining directly at my face but it's around 9 degrees here right now. There's a little bit of snow left and I would like to say a huge thank you to the person that gives me this wonderful apartment to stay at. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thank you.
Good morning guys, I'm at Mount Kuziosko at the snowy mountain here in Threadbo and I'm making this vlog today to say that I'm gonna be trekking Mount Kuziosko today I'm not sure how long the trek is gonna be so I'm just gonna trek as much as I can until it gets cold but yeah, the weather's good here a bit overcast, rain to be expected soon and yeah, I'm just hanging out at this side yard here at the park, at the mini park next to my lantern apartment it is around 11 a.m. right now I slept like a baby last night you know, I've always dreamed about climbing up the mountain for a while now and I finally am going to climb the mountain for the first time I can't wait to take a panoramic shot of the surroundings and it's a bit overcast but I think it's gonna be okay I'm not sure what's on the other side It's super cold. I mean, it's obviously cold. On any other day, I might swim in here, but <laughs> just not today. At the edge of the snowy mountain right now i'm trekking and it's freezing cold a storm is heading our way so we have been advised to head back down to the apartment or to the village which means that the hike has to be postponed for now the prediction is that good weather is coming tomorrow so we're gonna try again tomorrow and yeah as you can see the entire village or the view of the village is completely covered in mist i'm gonna try trek up there a little bit up this hill here this walking path temperature is currently zero degrees it is going to drop to minus two due to the wind chill and it's freezing i'm really not well equipped for this type of condition things just got out of control <laughs> i guess it's a failure but i'm gonna try again tomorrow but i'm almost there i'm almost there it's really getting cold man this jacket is not gonna work this pants is not gonna work and this glove is not gonna work so All right. See, yesterday I failed in trying to reach Mount Kuziosko Lookout and there's just something about failure that I don't really like. It's something that keeps me awake at night and it is also something that keeps me going in the morning in trying to overcome that failure and so today I'm going again. I'm going up there again to Mount Kuziosko to try and reach the Mount Kuziosko Lookout and it is my main goal right now. Nobody likes failure as far as I'm concerned, or at least I don't like failure. Every single day of my life have been trying to make sure that I don't fail in life. And I mean, failure is going to happen, whether you like it or not. You have to fail in order to succeed. That's what the great businessmen have been saying. You need to fail in order to succeed. What this means is that when you fail, you learn from your mistakes and then you go again you never give up and i heard a quote or a saying from someone that if you never give up you'll never fail all right just reached the top of the chairlift station again and yeah day two of trying to reach the summit of mount kuziosko the tallest mountain in australia attempt number two here we go so i was standing here yesterday at the site of mount kuziosko and you can't really see yesterday because of the snow but today, this is what it looks like. The sun is up. I'm around 10% up to the summit. It's getting rather hot. <laughs> the weather's completely opposite from yesterday. I'm gonna climb up further, take a short break, get hydrated, 
and then yeah make my way to the top and I'll update you guys again in the next clip all right I am around 20% to the top of Mount Kuziosko lookout and I think the lookout is over there somewhere around there behind me the valleys down there the landscape is beautiful around here just gonna keep trekking yeah still walking to Mount Kuziosko lookout a bit of a snow trail around here not too bad it's getting colder and colder as I go up towards the peak time now is 12 p.m. and I have to be back down at the chairlift station by 4 so 4 hours to go or 5 hours to go to reach to the summit of Mount Kuziosko, the tallest mountain in Australia. I had to remove my jacket because it's getting warm. I'm 30% up Mount Kuziosko. Alright, let's go. 40% to the top. Look at that amazing series of valleys behind me and how the clouds is just almost covering it up. It's windy, it's chilly, hopefully you can hear me properly. One of the best experience of my life. I kept pushing on, I almost gave up halfway because I was so tired and dehydrated but I kept pushing on. I'm so excited, I'm so happy. The clouds just covering that area up and I guess it's gonna cover the, the entire top of the mountain. I am almost there, 90% up Mount Kuziosko almost there look at this amazing view behind me uh, uh, almost there almost I made it to the top you did <laughs> yeah <laughs> Two more steps and you're right on the very top. Oh yes. You'll see my initials up there. T S. Oh. <laughs> Guess what guys? I made it. I made it to the top. tallest mountain in Australia. <laughs>